Quick thing before we get started, if you are learning all about the ins and outs of Cypress after you watch this video, head on over to leveluptutorials.com, click GoPro, sign up for a monthly or a yearly plan, and you'll get access to the full 20 videos of this tutorial series, thoughtfully put together to give you the most amount of impact in 20 videos for getting up and running with Cypress and giving you enough runway so that you can take off and get your applications tested. Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials and welcome to Testing with Cypress. In this course, we're going to be discussing Cypress.io, which is a really brilliant modern testing solution for end-to-end -end web applications. As in, this thing will run your website and it will test your website visually with a real browser. In fact, if we watch this little video, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole video, but just to see it in action here, what happens is you fire up your browser and it runs through the tests for you. What Cypress does is it uses your website like an actual user does with click events and scroll events and all sorts of things. And it can input and really run things against your real application. It can also mock your requests in case you want mocking instead of hitting a real API. And it can record a video of your test. It can be extended with plugins. It can be used with anything that is running on any URL, including production sites. So it's not just a local tool. It can be run in headless mode where it's just run in your command line. And that all opens up the possibility for using it with a continuous integration. Now there's also a neat brand new feature in Cypress that will even write tests for you. Yes, you heard me correct. We will be going over that in the course, but you use your site and it records you using the site just like a screen recorder or something. And as it does that, it's physically writing out code into your tests. Now, I am intimately familiar with Cypress as we use it as our default and favorite testing solution for level up tutorials. In fact, we do not even have any unit tests for our React components. We only have Cypress. In fact, right here, these are some of our Cypress tests. Now, I'm in a kind of an interesting branch of our, our code base right now, but I'm going to go ahead and run these tests, and you're going to be able to see this in action. It's going to pop open a browser. It's going to be Chrome, and it's going to run through these. Now, again, I cannot promise you that all of these tests will pass explicitly because I haven't run this yet in this branch. But... Fingers crossed, and you can see as it's going, it's going to be testing the site quite thoroughly and quickly. And once this is done, we'll also be able to see that what Cypress does is allows us to revisit any step along the way. Those steps along the way where we have assertions, where we have events, we can pin those versions and inspect the console or our network request, or any of the tools that we use typically in our Chrome developer tools. Yes, that's right. You get full access to the Chrome developer tools while these tests are running, because this is basically just an iframe in this window here. As you can see, it looks so far when my tests are passing, and it feels very cool to watch. I can confirm visually while I'm watching this that the tests not only are functioning correctly, but they're doing what I would want them to do, whether that is right there, creating a new subscription or heading to the shopping cart. Those things would be very difficult for me to test in any sort of other way outside of Cypress. Now, another really neat thing that Cypress does, as we can watch it do my tests here for me, is that Cypress also allows you to use this cy commands where it's cy dot something right it's a command and it's basically jquery in fact it uses jquery under the hood meaning that you can pass in any selector to grab any element on the page at any point and we do so in this series with both data test ids as well as the content of the text of an element so i mean you can do anything from ids and classes whatever and this really opens up a ton of possibilities for just finding something, running a click event, checking to make sure that the correct response worked. And you can see this all happens pretty snappy too. You can break up your tests into individual groups so that uh, let's say if you're working on a specific feature, you're only running the tests of that feature while you're working or you can just run your tests after it's all said and done. 
if you have it open like this, it's in watch mode. And watch mode allows uh, Cypress to watch for your files. So it will always run after you make changes. Again, something you might not want to do with, you know, hundreds of tests like we have here, but something you would definitely do with a specific set of feature tests. So that's what Cypress is. You can also extend Cypress with plugins like I mentioned. In this course, we will be covering several plugins, including one that's going to make your life a ton easier when working with continuous integration setups. We're also going to install a plugin to allow you to use DOM testing library selectors. So if you have used a DOM testing library, you'll be able to use get by test ID instead of a selector, which has a data attribute data test ID. Again, those are getting into the weeds a little bit. We'll talk quite a bit about that in those videos. So that's what Cypress is. It's a modern platform for testing your code. And as somebody who really, really doesn't love to write tests, I, I love what tests give me, but I do not love to write tests. This application makes test writing an absolute breeze by comparison to everything else I've ever used. So we're going to be talking all about Cypress. You can see that I'm 31 and 0. All of my tests pass. It took 190 seconds. Over the course of this series, you're going to see that what we were able to do here is possible with just a few small commands. And one last thing, if you're wondering how the code for this looks, let's even pop in one of the level up tutorials tests really quickly. The code for this is extremely readable. It should pro edu page loads okay visit the pro edu page check to see if the url has the right path in it then check to see if the header exists we know that if the header has loaded then the entire page has loaded so this is just one small test and it's a part of a thing i call the anon tour for an anonymous user where i just visit every single page on the site and we check to make sure the header loads that means that the page is, is loading especially for static files so this is, again, some Cypress code. This is the Cypress interface, and this is cypress.io. So get ready, strap yourselves in. We're going to be learning the coolest testing library on the market. Once again, if you are interested in learning Cypress, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro. We have a course on Level Up Tutorials right now. It is called Testing with Cypress. If you sign up now, you can get the yearly plan for $225 a year, and you'll get access to Testing with Cypress along with tons of other content. We have an ESM and Snowpack course, a Dino 101, our most popular course, Modern CSS Design Systems, React for Everyone, Animating Svelte, React 3D, so much more. Endless amounts of content and a new tutorial series every single month. In addition, we also have courses, which more are on the way, and very, very soon we'll be having quizzes as well. If you want to check it out, we also have a ton of free content as well as blog posts that teach you how to do neat things quickly with JavaScript and CSS and HTML. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.